Come in. It's Mr. Sands, isn't it? Uh, that's right, uh, Ray Sands. Now, I think you've been referred to me because you're suffering from sciatica. Uh, that's right.、Uh, not for the first time, actually. Okay. Well, I've got some notes here, but perhaps you can tell me in your own words about any previous bouts of sciatica you've had,、uh, what treatment you had, what worked for you, anything else you can remember. Right. Oh. Well, it all started when I hurt my back. Ooh, about eighteen、uh, months ago now. Okay. I was giving somebody a hand with a heavy suitcase, and I felt it go.、Oh. You know, woof, just like that.、Mm. Anyway, I slowly got over that, despite occasional flare-ups. And then, out the blue, about a year ago, sciatica developed.、Um. Mm. And it was six months till that finally cleared up altogether. Now it's come back in well, in the last month or so, I'd say. I see. And your GP said it was sciatica. Yeah, I had this pain all the way down my right leg,、mm -hmm. and she said the real problem was in my back because the sciatic nerve was getting trapped. Right. I mean, I'm telling you, this was no ordinary pain. It was really intense.、Mm -hmm. I mean, to the extent that I couldn't stand for very long, couldn't walk hardly any distance, I couldn't sleep. Oh. I mean, the most frustrating bit for me. Was that I couldn't even turn over in bed. It just hurt so much. I just couldn't get comfortable. Do you know what I mean?、Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I'd have well, a sort of、um, tingling feeling in my calves as well. Right. But then at other times, my whole leg just well, felt a bit numb. Really, it, it was weird. And of course, I couldn't go to work. I'm an events organizer, so I travel about a lot. I'm setting things up for conferences, lugging stuff around, you know. And so there was no way I could manage any of that. The state I was in. Okay. So how was this treated? Well,、uh, in the first instance, I was given painkillers, obviously,、uh, ibuprofen, as far as I can remember. Right. Uh, and I was told to put compression packs on the affected area. I mean, that did ease the pain a little, but I was still housebound, practically speaking. Okay.、Uh, then the GP sent me to see an osteopath, and I got some treatment there, but it didn't seem to make much difference. Right. So I was referred to a sports injury specialist, of all things. Uh, and he did、um, a number of things that did seem to ease things a little, like working on my spine and lower legs.、Mm -hmm. Oh, and he, he gave me a set of exercises to do at home. I see.、Um, any other treatment?、Uh, oh, yeah, I almost forgot. There was this course of injections, and I went for various other therapies, like ultrasound, and another one where they do. Well, they use like electrical impulses.、Mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Okay.、Um, at one point, I even considered acupuncture, but by then the other things were beginning to take effect and the symptoms were subsiding. So、uh, I gave it a miss.、Mm -hmm. So, which of these various treatments do you feel was most effective?、Uh, what made the difference?、Mm, well. I couldn't say for certain because it all went on for four months without much improvement, really. Then it wasn't until suddenly in the fifth month things changed quite dramatically. So to be honest with you, I think it was the combination of treatments gradually taking effect and coming together, rather than one single thing making the difference. Okay. And did anyone ever talk to you about what might be causing the problem? Well, I think everyone assumed that a slipped disc was behind it all, but、right. was never actually confirmed as that. I mean, I know there is this other condition、uh, where you get a lot of pain in the buttocks, but、mm, that wasn't my experience. Okay. And did anyone talk to you about aspects of your lifestyle that might be contributing to the problem? Well,、uh, I remember actually there was one of the therapies. Extract two, questions thirteen to twenty-four. You hear a consultant dermatologist talking to a patient called Jake Ventor. For questions thirteen to twenty-four, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. You now have thirty seconds to look at the notes.
Jake Ventor, please come in and take a seat. Thanks. Okay, now I understand from your GP that you've got a problem with your hand. Yes, I went to see a couple of weeks ago because of a sore on my left hand. I've had it for years, but not all the while. You know, it appears, then it gets better,、right. then it comes back. It's here on the palm. It's almost gone now. But she wasn't sure what it was, so she said I'd better see a dermatologist. She took a photo. Did you get that? I did. I did. Yes. So, so tell me about the condition, how it feels, and well,、uh, I always know when I'm going to get it because I have this itching beforehand. Right. I wake up at night wanting to scratch the area, though I try to stop myself. <laughs> Good.、Um, Then a few hours later, I get one or two little blisters, and they gradually get bigger and join up into one big one. It all feels a bit hot,、mm -hmm. uh, and the skin around it goes red. When I showed this to the doctor, she used the word chaotic to describe it. Anyway, it, it gradually dries up, and I get a scab. Then, after about two weeks, that falls off, and there's just a little red patch, but you can see now. Okay. I've been getting it for years.、Um, I actually got it the first time when I was in China in the 1990s.、Mm. I had a job there for a couple of years before、mm -hmm. I came back here.、Uh, that first time, I also had a similar sore on my chest, but that's never come back. But the one on my hand that comes back every year or so, but never in exactly the same place. I thought it had sorted itself out because I didn't get it for a couple of years, but then it came back.、Right. So. There's no, there's no pattern. It's not getting more frequent or anything, and it doesn't seem linked to anything in my daily life. Like、uh, it doesn't seem to happen when I'm run down, for example, or or because of anything in my diet, or if I'm under a lot of pressure at work, that kind of thing. Okay. So the doctor thought you needed to have a look. Also, because I had a malignant melanoma on my back that was removed in 2006. Right. It was at quite an early stage, and it hadn't got too deep. Okay, well that's good. Still, I'll just have a look at your back.、Mm -hmm. Was it down here? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, yeah, that all looks absolutely fine. Well, I don't think you need to worry about anything sinister here.、Uh, by the way, have you ever had cold sores? No, never. But I did wonder if this thing on my hand was something like that. In fact, I wanted to ask you about that. There's an antiviral cream you can use, isn't there, to stop them developing? I wondered if you could prescribe me something like that. Look, the trouble is, these work well on the mouth because the skin's very thin there. But I'm afraid they won't have any effect in your case because the skin on your hand's so much thicker. Oh,、uh, I see.、Um, yeah. Oh, well, something else that worries me is whether there's a chance of infection. Should I be covering the place up? No, no, you don't need to unless there's broken skin. Right. Good.、That's、fine.、Uh, and it's not actually having an impact on my quality of life or anything like that. It's something I can live with. I mean, I have done for all these years. Okay, so so really, the reason you went to the doctor after all these years was just to see if there was any way we could prevent this happening.、Mm, yeah. Okay. Well, at this stage, the best thing to do is organise a biopsy. It might be a bit uncomfortable, but it means we can rule certain things out. Okay.